screen. Try from this is Bro, and today we are doing a cooking challenge. Welcome to the cooking battle. Kree, you know I don't know how to cook. I don't really know how to cook that much easier, but probably more than you, so that means I'm automatically gonna win. What? <laughs> Slow your roll, because I am gonna bring out all my bananas. Huh? Ronald. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a banana meal. Right, in this challenge, you have to make a full meal. It can't just be a little snack, you can't just make some cookies. It has to be a full meal, something you would eat for dinner. And the judge is going to be our dad. So he's gonna decide who is the winner and loser, but the loser is gonna have to dye their hair, but the other person's gonna choose what color. Prepare to lose. Prepare to have orange hair, Ronald. No. <laughs> I'm super duper excited, so let's get on with cooking. Okay, so in order to cook, first we have to know what we're cooking. So we got a couple cookbooks here. We're gonna look through them and decide what we wanna cook. Ron, come here. You gotta look. I don't want orange hair. All right, I'm gonna look through this book and see if I like any of the recipes and if there are any winners in here I can make. <gasps> Guys, I thought this was gonna be a simple challenge. I was gonna be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But now, dyeing hair is involved, so I really need to step up my game so Karina get, can get her pink hair. So guys, if you know me, I basically never touch a frying pan in my life. I never ever cooked, baked, or done anything interesting in my life. So, let's do something interesting. Why is this all green, ew? Okay guys, I've been flipping through a few of the cookbooks and I found three really great options. I can make cauliflower pizza, which is super duper cool. Might be a little bit hard, but I think I can do it. There's this potato salad that looks really good. And this thing, I don't know what it is, but it looks so delicious and I think my dad is gonna absolutely Okay, give me this cookbook. Hey, hey, wait, 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 I did that idea. Okay guys, as you can tell, I'm really stressed because I do not want to dye my hair and this challenge is not in my topic of interest, so. I need to make it somewhat good. Okay, ooh, cook it, cook it. Uh, so I found this, I, I don't know what this is. Okay, I can't, I can't cook it, so like might as well pick something else. Okay guys, I've decided on what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the cauliflower pizza. I think it might be a little bit hard because I never really cooked anything like this except like fried eggs. That's the only thing I ever made in my life. But I think I can do it. It doesn't seem too, too hard. I think we can get all the ingredients pretty easily. So let's make some cauliflower pizza. So guys, it took years to decide what I wanted to cook because mainly because I cannot cook anything. So I was looking for something really simple and it actually tastes good, but I managed to settle on this burger right here. It is the grilled halamuni burger with chilled ketchup, chili ketchup, and tahini mayo. I know it doesn't look really good, but our dad is the judge and he loves gross food. He wants all of the gross food in the world, so I will hand deliver one of the gross foods to him in his front doorstep and hopefully he'll rate it high because this stuff really scares me. I don't want to lose this challenge, please help me. Dyeing my hair really scares me. And because of that, I'm willing to step up my cooking skills an extra four and a half steps to the next level. Okay guys, so the next step is to make a list of everything I need, go to the shopping store at our local supermarket and get everything I need to make Karina's hair pink. Wait, Ron, I'm definitely gonna beat you with my cauliflower pizza and then your burger. No. So guys, the next step is to go to the grocery store, so we'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we are driving to the grocery store to get our groceries so we can go back home and make our awesome meals. Especially mine, mine is super duper awesome. I'm making cauliflower pizza and I need to have a lot of ingredients I need to get. I need to get chia seeds, cauliflower, apples, lemons, taramari salt. Apples? Yeah, I need apples. Like what? I don't know why I need apples, but I need apples. I need dried oregano, I have no idea what that is. Dried basil, tomato, mushrooms, fresh basil, rockets, I don't know what that is either, and salt and pepper, which we already have at home. No, like the rocket as in a food. Like, have you ever heard of a, of a rocket vegetable or fruit or whatever a rocket is? I have no idea. <laughs> Ron, what do you have? Okay, so, I have a piece of paper. Bruh. Yeah, but what do you need? Okay, I need one courgette, one arbogine, what? olive oil. What do you sound like Italian? <laughs> Isn't that the point? Salt. Halamuni cheese, my favorite one. Burger buns, ketchup, and rocket greens. Okay, well, you have an interesting list. I have no idea what like half those things are, so good luck trying to find them at a basic grocery store. Excuse me, where's your halamuni cheese? Well, I don't need halamuni cheese on my cauliflower pizza. Wait, I don't have any cheese. I don't need any kind of cheese on my cauliflower pizza. Okay, your pizza. pizza is gonna be so disgusting, it's not even gonna be a joke. What? There's no cheese on your pizza? Wait, I just realized I don't have cheese There's here. There's apples and cauliflower on your pizza that has no cheese. There are apples and no cheese. I don't know where the apples come in. It's just in the ingredients. 
ingredients on the cookbook. <laughs> well, hopefully this is gonna be okay, even without any cheese. I might get up some backup cheese just in case, you know. Some backup cheese. In case the pizza looks like it needs cheese. No, Probably some not. Cheese, some cheese. Probably not, because I have to mix it with apples, and I don't think cheese with apples is very good. <laughs> I don't think cauliflower on pizza is really good. It's not cauliflower on pizza, it's cauliflower pizza. Like, the bread is made of cauliflower. Cauliflower, uh... Okay, I'm definitely not eating that. No, it's delicious! Alright guys, see you guys at the grocery store. Okay guys, so we are now inside the store and the first thing on my beautiful shopping list is one courgette and a very someone, a very someone told me that a courgette is this thing right here. So let's grab one of these things, which is a courgette, and let's place it in our shopping bag. And the second thing on our shopping list is a arbuji. And an RBG is very special because an RBG is this. So we need to go grab a bag. Okay, now we have our bag. Let's grab our other glove. Okay guys, so I now have my beautiful plastic bag. And let's go put our, our June jean in this. I'm the best at putting things inside bags. Boom! Boom, now we have the second thing on our shopping list. Okay guys, so the next thing on our to-do list is one red pepper, but can you find the red peppers? Oh, they're right there. Okay. So let's grab a red pepper. This is a beautiful red pepper. Oh, boom, we got our red pepper. We got our arjunjin and our bambadin. Fourth thing on our shopping list is olive oil, but we already have olive oil. So, salt, we already have salt. Hello Muni cheese, excuse me, where's the Hello Muni cheese? He doesn't seem to really like Hello Muni cheese, does he? Okay, so I think I've got most of the ingredients that I need, but I've run into a dilemma. There's no basil here, there's no fresh basil or dry basil, and I need both, so that's an issue. But I did find Rocket, and I think this is Rocket. It's just a different kind of leafy green, so we're gonna add that to the bag. At least we found this, but we gotta find the rest of our stuff. The next thing I need to find is chia seeds, and I don't think they're gonna be in the fruits and vegetables, so I gotta go searching. Oh, I need some rockets. Rocula. One thing on my list that I thought I would never find is some halimuni cheese, but look at this. We got some halimuni cheese. It's a very special moment we would all like to share. Okay, what's next on our shopping list? Burger buns. Where are they? Okay guys, so I need chia seeds and we got the chia seeds right here. And now the last thing that I need is Dried oregano. I have no idea what oregano is, but I have to find dried oregano, so let's go look for that. Okay guys, found the oregano, and now we're ready to go. Okay guys, so the last thing to make my meal very and much very complete is burger buns, and we need four of them, and we have the perfect pack right here. So we're gonna place it in, and that is everything we need to make Korean hair pink. Oh wait, we need some hair dye. Okay, we are back home with all our ingredients and it's time for the cooking war, Ronald. Ooh. Are you ready to be absolutely shredded in the competition? You wish. You might as well dye your hair right this instant. Well, we'll see about that. So we have our own little stations. My station's over here. I have the sink. Ron's allowed to borrow the sink though because he doesn't have the sink. And he's over here. I don't need my so. sink anymore. I already washed all my stuff. Uh, he Ronald already washed all my stuff. I didn't wash my stuff, so I better get started on that because my thing is going to take longer. So I better get started right away. All right, bye, Ronald. <laughs> okay, bye. So guys, I have my cookbook ready right here and we need to follow what this stuff says right here in order to make the perfect burger that makes Karen's hair pink. So. Start by preparing your vegetables. Cut the courgette in half. Okay, this is the courgette. Is it? Cut the courgette in half and then into thin strips lengthwise. Okay, so let's cut in half. Please say this is the courgette. Okay guys, while Ronald's cutting his vegetables oddly, hopefully he's not gonna chop up his fingers, but we gotta get started right away here. So first thing I gotta do is leave my chia seeds to soak in water for a bit, and then I can get started on making the pizza crust. So first I need my 
chia seeds, of course. We need four tablespoons. Uh, yes, we do. All right. All right, one, two, oh no, it's everywhere. Three, and four, and a little bit more for good luck. Nice. <laughs> All right, and now I need water. I need one cup. Pour that in there. Nice, and we gotta set this to the side for about 10 minutes. The next step is to make the cauliflower crust. So of course we need cauliflower, we need to rip it up, cut it up, wash it, and then put it in the food processor so it looks like a kind of like flour powder sort of thing so we can make our crust off of that. So, we're gonna wash this. Okay guys, so I'm now cutting my thin strips of, what is it? Corgettes. This is gonna take a while because I have to cut this whole entire thing in my jig. Okay guys, we got our cauliflower all washed up and cut. Some of it is in here, some of it is in here. We're gonna grind this up here. All right. There we go, that looks a, kind of like flour a little bit. All right, we got our little spatula. So guys, now your zucchini is all done. I put it on its own very plate because it's very gross and it needs to get away from me. And the next step was to cut the eggplant the same way as the zucchini. So here we go again. <laughs> what happened? My hands smell disgusting. <laughs> Wait, you're cutting a zucchini. <laughs> Invading my property, Ronald? I almost died. It still smells. Okay, so we need to do the cauliflower in batches because my food processor is not big enough to do it all in one round. So we're gonna do it three times till all the cauliflower is blended like this. This eggplant smells so bad. Let me smell. It doesn't smell bad. What do you mean? It just smells a bit like eggplant. Ron, oh, this is what happens when you never enter the kitchen ex except to like grab snacks. <laughs> okay guys, so as you know, this eggplant smells really bad, but I need to just gather all my forces together and complete cutting this eggplant so I don't have to do it ever again. Okay, so I finally got all my cauliflower powder here and now I gotta squeeze it through a nut milk bag. We have one of those. Okay, it's right here. We gotta put the cauliflower in here and we gotta squeeze out all the water. All right, that shouldn't be too hard. We gotta put all of this in here. Okay guys, so the mission to cut all my eggplant has now been finally complete to million XP and it is already on the plate. I had to wash my hands multiple times and now they smell like soap, which is beautiful. Bro, you put soap in my cauliflower. What? Bro, you were washing your hands in the sink and my cauliflower was there. Well, can't you just wash it off? Yeah, but now I'm gonna be poisoning everyone. So, the mission has been complete and the new mission has begun, which is to cut the pepper. So let's cut the pepper. Okay, I need to move this plate. <laughs> Go away from me. Oh, it's on the table. Okay. Okay, so we need to cut the pepper into four big sections. Okay, so the next thing is to chop the halamuni into four Thin rectangular slices of cat. This is the cheesy part. Okay guys, so now the next mission has been completed. Our missions are racking up. We're getting a lot of XP. So the next mission is to put all the cut vegetables in the large bowl with four tablespoons of oil and salt. So let's do that, okay. So the first is the zucchini. Ooh! And now we go for the pepper. Bit of peppers inside the bowl, and now, oh no, we have. Okay, I need a hazmat suit. Hold this one on the table, you gotta take off. Ah! Well, look how delicious this smells. Mmm. Ah! So now my hands smell just fine, so now we can continue with the four tablespoons of oil. Ooh, olive oil. Oh, don't put that spoon at an angle. And that's one. And then we're gonna do two. And that is four. And now we need one teaspoon of sultana. Okay, put this in the sink. I hope you will enjoy my spoon turn now. Ronald, my sink. My pleasure. Okay, so now we take one teaspoon. And then we take salt. Boom. 
Start to grill the prepared veg on a hot barbecue. It was at this moment that he knew. That's the slight issue. Okay guys, so we don't have a barbecue, so I'm gonna do it in the oven. So I hope this will make the gross concoction even more gross. <laughs> what are you doing? What? You gotta mix it up so all the stuff goes like right and put it on a pan. That's not what the instruction said. But that's what the instructions <laughs> implied. It didn't say for you to put this bowl in the oven. Okay guys, so there's one line right here that says mix well until they have a nice even coating, but how was I supposed to know that? So let's mix it. Okay guys, I finally filled, we're all having a chance. <laughs> I finally filled my nut milk bag. I'm gonna pull the drawstring and I gotta squeeze it all out. Oh, I didn't think there'd be that much water. Okay. Yikes. This is, whoa. Okay guys, there's a step that I was not prepared for and I'm very scared of us. And the step is to take all the vegetables in this bowl and put it there and I don't have gloves. Okay, let's just get it over with. Ah! Oh, I already smell disgusting. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why is there so much eggplants? The virus. Okay guys, I've been at this for a really long time. I've been squeezing all the water out of this cauliflower and I don't think there's a lot left in here, so I think I'm done. I'm gonna take it out of the bag and I'm gonna do the next step. <laughs> all right, this is what I've got so far. It looks pretty good. It looks kind of like flour, so I think I'm going the right direction. But the next thing is to put my chia seed mixture that's been sitting here for a while and put it back in. Oh, look at that. It's all gel-like. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I gotta put this in here. I think the chia seeds have absorbed all of the water and now it goes straight in. And I gotta mix it around until it feels like dough. All right, Ooh, let's do this. Okay guys, so the next step is to put all of these vegetables inside the grill, but we don't have a grill, but thank goodness our oven has a setting that calls that's called center area grill, which is basically a grill. So let's put it in. Now we wait. Okay, I, I just forgot, I also need to put my apple Purig in here. At the grocery store, I bought apples because I was gonna make apple Purig, which is just blended apples, but I saw it at the grocery store, so we're just gonna use this instead to make it easier for myself. And we gotta put 200 of this in here. Oh, that's a little bit much, uh, but I think it's gonna be fine. All right, and now we gotta put this in here. Mmm, delicious. This is gonna be a <laughs> delicious crust with apples and cauliflower. Now we gotta mix this up. Okay guys, so now the vegetables, the gross vegetables, the gro gross concoction is now in the grill. The next step is to just relax because I am almost finished with this cook. What? How that? Recipe. So Karen, how do you feel? Uh, pretty okay, because then I have had all the kitchen to myself and I won't risk getting any more soap in my cauliflower. Oh, I will put all the soap in your cauliflower. Let's go relax. Okay guys, I am finished mixing up my pizza crust here. I added a few spices to make it, you know, more flavorful. I prepared the trays here. I have one tray here and I have a second tray over there because I didn't realize, but this is gonna be making two large pizzas. So I hope this is gonna turn out good. This is gonna be dinner. Okay, I think that's half and I'm gonna put the rest over to here. Okay, I'm just gonna dump it. Okay guys, now the next step is to make this into a pizza shape, obviously. So we're gonna put this, spread this out into a thin circle. It's gotta be thin or else the cauliflower crust is just gonna crumble. Oh yeah, do you wanna help me? Huh? Do you wanna help me make pizza? She's like, what smells so good here? Okay guys, I flattened out the pizza. It's not gonna be a circle, it's gonna be a square because I have too much batter. I have to fill out all the corners. So now we gotta put it in the oven. All right, I need two ovens because I have two trays, but maybe I'll just make the second one after. Or maybe I could put the second one on top. Hopefully this is gonna cook right. There we go. Okay. 
All right, we'll see how that's gonna turn out in 20 minutes. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm gonna be cutting up and washing my toppings here. I have mushrooms, broccoli, which wasn't in the recipe, I just added it just for funsies. And we got some cherry tomatoes and some rocket. And I chose to add extra toppings because I know that our dad loves all the vegetables on his pizza, so we gotta just pile it up in there. So let's start washing these mushrooms. Okay guys, so the gross vegetables, the gross concoction is finally finished grilling. And I also grilled the cheese on top of it. It looks so tasty, but now, it is time for the next step, which is assembling the burgers. So, it says, toast the buns on the barbecue. Then layer them up with some homemade ketchup on the bottom bun. But, how long do I toast it for? I don't know. Okay guys, so we have all of our buns, because why not? So let's just place them all on the grill, or whatever you call it. It's so beautiful, like it's gonna taste so good, because it's gonna be the most jealous substance. Bro, well, I'm literally making a pizza here, okay? This is gonna be Out of so cauliflower yeah, and delicious. apples. I love cauliflower pizza. Look at it. Is that broccoli you're cutting? Mm -hmm. It's not part of the recipe, but I'm adding it. You're just making it worse. You know, I'm making it way better. I just comp with you. Okay, so we put it like this. And then now we grab our special pushy pusher. And then we pushy push it. I'm just the best cooker. 2020. Boom. Okay guys, we have a slight, very, very slight issue, I promise. All the burger buns are now burned. I have no clue why I put them all in at the same time because they are all burnt now. I don't even know how they were burned. I'll check it and then 30 seconds later they all go beep, 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 and then it's just burned just like that. Like they didn't tell me how long I should toast it. Like, this is hot garbaja, but guys, look how the buns look. Like, this side looks okay, but look at this side, like... I cannot serve this food, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get more. Karina! Slow down, I need more time. Bro, I still, I'm not finished yet. I'm just cleaning, waiting for my stuff to finish cooking. You, you better not be finished yet. Guys, it was so obvious what happened. Ron was just react, relaxing for way too long because he doesn't know that he has to watch his food. He has, doesn't know he has to keep like a timer or something. He just forgot about it. So now he has to go start over. Meanwhile. Let's hope we don't burn these as well. Karina's probably already finished by now. <sighs> okay guys, my two pizza crusts are finally finished. Look at the glorious pizza crust. Just amazing. All right, but now we gotta put on the tomato sauce. So we just have a bit of tomato sauce here. I'm just gonna scoop some on and smear it around. I really hope that our dad is gonna think this is delicious because I put my heart and soul into this, my sweat and blood went into it. Not really, but kind of. Like, this took a lot of work. Okay guys, we are back in the kitchen with my beautiful buns and this time we're gonna do two at a time because I don't wanna risk of burning them all at the same time because that is not a pleasant feeling, is it? So, let's. Oh ah. my God. Okay. Hop, 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 and then we pop. And now, we burn them again. I'm just kidding. So guys, to make sure that these buns won't burn a second time, I am gonna camp the oven. I'm gonna set up my tent, I'm gonna roast some marshmallows, I'm gonna wait. Okay guys, now it's time to put my toppings on my beautiful cauliflower crust pizza. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the mushrooms. Mm, oh yeah, I'm camping my buns. Hey guys, but my pizzas are all topping filled except the rocket. I'm gonna put that after I cook the pizzas a little bit more so the vegetables are nice and cooked. All right, let's put this in. All right, there we go. Now we just gotta let that cook for about five minutes and then we'll be able to add the rocket and slice the pizza. Are you watching your buns? Welcome guys to the magical world of Ronald's buns. They look perfectly brown slash golden, unlike last time when they were like all eight of them were burned, which is really sad. But now we have the perfect buns, and now we need to assemble the perfect mangandam for our perfect to judge. So, according to the manual, we need one of the buns to have ketchup on it. So, we shall put some ketchup on one of the buns. And the, on the other bun, it's hello, Awiya. Yeah? Mm. What is this? Ooh, it's sticker! Thank you, Alia. So on the other bun, it said that we need to put mayo on it. 
Oh, this is gonna taste good. Okay, guys, so the very next step is to add the cheese on the amazing burger bun. So I just add, boom, perfect. Okay, next, we need to add the grossness. This burger would be amazing with some beef or something, but sadly, we need to put a gross concoction on it. So, let's begin. Okay, thank goodness I have a fork and not my bare hands because that would not be a very pleasant time. What a, so we need two forks, so we do not need to touch it at all. And the last step is to put the stupid rocket on top of the very burger. Oh no, 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 no. He likes extra rocket, I think, because he's an astronaut. Okay, now we need to put the top on it for the final touch. Okay guys, this is the burger that's gonna magically make Karina's pink once my dad takes a bite. So guys, this is the final presentation of the majestic burger that is gonna magically make me win. Just look at it, it does not taste good. According to a judge, it will, but and it's just so beautiful, so just like I won. So right now, all I need to do is wait for Karina to make her pizza because she is super duper slow. I'm not slow, I'm waiting for it to cook wrong. <laughs> You're slow. One. Later. Okay guys, my pizza is finally out in the oven. The last thing I need to do is put on the rocket, cut up the pizza, serve it, and of course, win. Oh my god, Karina, finally! It took you several centuries, several decades, Karina, but like, you still have a lot of things to do so I can go relax. Bro, cauliflower pizza is not easy to make. You're, you just made a bun with some vegetables. And it's gonna be your pizza, watch it. Watch it every Ronald, I don't think so. Watch, 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 watch. Watch. Okay. <laughs> so guys, this is my super healthy final pizza. It's vegan too, and there's no cheese, there's no egg, there's nothing that's animal on it, so. He's gonna love it. He doesn't really like eating meat or cheese or eggs or anything like that. So, and it's super duper healthy too. Look at all the vegetables Karina, on it. I would like to point out that how healthy it is is not the only factor. It's also how good it tastes. Ron, well, don't worry. This is gonna taste amazing. So, I'm gonna be serving mine first. What? The hunger strikes. Yes. What? What do we have here? Wow, it looks really good. Let me smell it first. <laughs> mm, so good. Wait, it smells good. good. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh, you see, you cannot even hold it to save your life. Okay. You a minus ten point. Ma Ronald, it's made minus of one point for uh, being too flimsy. It's made of cauliflower. Okay, come on. That's two points. This is what happens when you want cauliflower pizza. Something super healthy. I require. A fork and a knife. Oh, that's minus another point, Karina. Well, some people You're at eight points already. You're at eight points. No. I'm at a hundred, okay? Uh -huh. Alright, okay, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You can try it yet. You could. I can smell it. Save it for when you try it. No. Is it good? No, Mmm. Mm. Is it good? It's actually pretty good. Pretty good is not very good, and this is very good, so like. Okay, it's not <laughs> exquisite. Let's go! Let's go! It's not five stars. Let's go! But let's go! Four stars. Four? Let's yeah. go! Let's go! Let's go! I, let's go! Let's go! I can actually eat this for dinner. This is good. Yeah, but you're gonna want to eat several of these. For can mm. I try it? Mm -hmm. I want to see how four star this pizza is. Can I try? Mm -hmm. Mine's 25 stars. It's so good. Mmm, it's really good. See? No, that's five stars. That's really good. No, but you're not. No, that. You're, you're missing one star because it's just too flimsy and overall amazing, but it could be better. Mm -hmm. But this one cannot be better. That's the real kicker. Okay, <sighs> let's do it. Mmm! We all, yes, you're gonna like this! Uh, yes! yes! Uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Who's the better <laughs> What is this stuff in the middle here? It's zucchini, that's cheese. This is cheese? Mm-hmm. Okay, it smells good. Yes! Mmm! Mmm!
I like the kick, the pepper is nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the zucchini here, is there pickle? No, no pickle? Uh, no. No pickle and no tomato. It's got, it's got to be minus half a point. Okay, we're still 4.5 stars. We're still... Okay, but it's pretty good. It's actually very good. Oh! But I have to say, it's going to be a tie. A but tie? We cannot tie it. Rock, it's, paper, it's scissors. It's going to be a tie. No, clearly mine's... I put more effort in. you got to decide. You have to decide. Okay. Please. Taste-wise, same. But I, I think I have to give it to the pizza. Because it doesn't have any gluten. <laughs> No gluten, it has no, it's all vegan, everything, super duper healthy. It's just the vegetables. That's literally all it is. It's so bad! Please, it's so bad! No, you're, no you're, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. This one loses on the bun, but other than that, excellent. And I went for buns twice. I just comped. Bro, I put way more effort into my pizza. I didn't sit down to rest for one second. I was constantly Oh, really? Working. Because you were cooking for 40 minutes. Yeah, and while I was cooking, I was cleaning. Ron, your side of the kitchen was a mess. Oh my god. Mine was all clean. So? I did all the dishes too, Ronald. So? But guys, our dad's decision is not final. We're gonna put a poll in the corner so you guys can pick who is the winner. My magnificent pizza or Ronald's burger. You're pretty confident, aren't you? You're gonna win twice in a row. You're pretty confident. I mean, he says that mine's better, so it probably is. Mm. And just remind you guys, the loser of this challenge is gonna have to dye their hair, but the other person is gonna have to choose what color. So we're all prepared to have orange hair. I am not prepared. We hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button, and we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh, we have said that you one. Huh?